UX was inferior. I think I like UX is a lot better now, but when I, UX at the beginning stages was inferior, we still had blockchain and crypto people who were genuinely excited about it. What were they excited about specifically, Tim? That it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But, so we were, we're talking about mass adoption, right? Isn't that the target? Well, I, don't know. I think we should maybe define mass adoption. Okay, let's define mass adoption. Does mass adoption mean Amy's grandma? I don't know. You know? I, mean, I think it's really interesting. Like, yeah, you that's true. They might use Airbnb. Okay, my mom. My mom and my dad. Okay, cool. Okay, so we redefined the target audience. It's not the question. I, I think the question I was asking past year was like, what can we do with this token? What can the token do in the platform? And the better question is really, what do people actually want to use a token for? Right? I think quite, I think we're getting there, but but originally just like coming at it from a different angle is also like a really key portion of it. But I, I think that decentralization is a good goal. And, it, and when I say decentralization, the way I think about it is in terms of the way that we handle data. You know, where that data is stored, how it's transmitted, and who has control of it at each phase of that. What's the killer doubt that's, that's really going to take all this on the stream? <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course, I think that chat is like, you know, potentially the killer app, really. Like, what industry so far has proven to, to basically take things very quickly to scale? If you play on EOS bets, you earn bets tokens. And whatever games you're playing in the casino, they're constantly giving these little chips. And then those chips share in 100% of the revenue of what the casino makes. So it offsets even the odds of the games that people are playing. And that's why it became so massive. And I think it's going to still keep growing because my guess is a lot of people don't even really know that this is how it works. But the people that do know are making it killing. Um, like, there's not just one really simplistic problem that's trying to be solved. Like, they're trying to solve, like, three different problems in one product. And I think that it goes back to kind of what you were saying about, like, the simplicity behind it, which is just, like, go out and start to solve one problem. Don't try to solve any problems. Okay. I'm going to make a couple predictions. Okay. First of all, one first was actually, I hope, I hope someone comes up with an alternative app store. You know, I really... I agree. Well, the alternative app store. It doesn't stay... Yeah, great the monopoly app store. Another thing is, um, I definitely think that when it comes to mass adoption, if you're looking at straight numbers, that countries like India and China have the most people. So, and Africa too. You know, these countries are, are underserved by technolo technological innovation, and that people who target those with their apps are going to get way more users than you're going to get in the U.S. and Europe. So, and the other, the third prediction is just mergers and acquisitions.